Taking pictures is great. I mean, one of the biggest social media platforms in the world is based off of that premise. Not all photos are the cute and quirky mirror selfie though. Here are the top five terrifying photographs with a dark history. Number five on this list is the Rothschild Surrealist Ball. The Rothschild family is one of the most rich and powerful on the entire planet. Their wealth and influence knows absolutely no bounds. Guy Gonley says, the elaborate masks, robes, and decorations on display at the 1972 Rothschild Surrealist Ball are unsettling enough on their own even before you consider the people behind it. Wild conspiracy theories have swirled around the Rothschilds for centuries and believers claiming that this German banking family does everything from control the world's wealth to instigate wars for their own gain. Whether or not any such rumors are true, Baroness Mary Helene de Rothschild Surrealist Ball at Chateau de Fary in France has only stoked outsiders' imaginations about what goes on behind closed doors at parties attended by the rich, powerful, and famous. In this case, attendees included Salvador Dali and Audrey Hepburn, while dessert was a life-sized naked woman made of sugar. So even though nothing went down here with this photo, that doesn't mean that something didn't go down. Let me explain. This family's secrets are tightly guarded. So if something did happen at this ball, we wouldn't have known about it. The ongoings of this family and where their true interests lie are really only known by the family itself. This is why this image is so scary. Because for once, we might have actually seen the family for what it truly is. A group of people wearing masks to blend in, hiding their true identities from the public. Now I don't want to say that they are definitely up to something because we truly have no idea, but we also don't know that they definitely aren't up to something either. Number four on this list is the Stanford Prison Experiment. This is right up there as being one of the worst psychological experiments ever and the photo here really shows that. We have a dude with a bag over his head and his handcuffs on. Not super cool. Bai Gonley says, The Stanford prison experiment commenced on August 14, 1971, after university psychology professor Philip Zimbardo divided student volunteers into two groups comprised of 11 guards and 10 prisoners in order to see how they would behave on their own inside a fabricated prison. The goal was to assess how quickly and intensely even educated and intelligent people can turn cruel and sadistic under the right conditions and find out once and for all whether humans are inherently good or evil. In just six days, before the experiment had to be called off, the guards had repeatedly abused and humiliated the prisoners by spraying them with fire extinguishers and forcing them to clean toilet bowls with their bare hands. The study and the creepiest photos left behind provide a chilling look at what humans are capable of doing. Apparently these people who were the prisoners, they had some serious long-term trauma. I mean, I would have too if for six straight days I was beaten, humiliated, had to do horrible tasks, and then had a bag thrown over my head whenever I was transported. Like they literally tortured these people for six days straight. That's why this image is so scary. We can't even see the face of the person who's there, but imagine what's going on through their head right now. Imagine how scared that one prisoner is. Five, four, eight, six. That's all they were. For six days, all they were was a number and all humanity was stripped from them. Thank goodness it only lasted six days and was stopped before going any further. Number three on this list is children for sale. This is a horrible image. It's scary, it's dark, and if you grew up in a good healthy family, then it should make you appreciate them that much more. By Gonley says, this haunting photo from 1948 reveals just how much poverty can destroy a family. Mr. and Mrs. Ray Chalefaux were facing eviction from their Chicago apartment at the time and desperately needed money. So the unemployed coal truck driver and his wife opted to sell their kids. Though members of the Chalafaux family have claimed that the mother was paid to stage the image, the children in fact were sold to different homes within two years. Worse yet, the children, Lana, Ray, Milton, and Sue Ellen, were known to have been terribly abused by their new families thereafter. Yeah, this is something that actually happened, guys. This family sold their kids off to survive. I can't even possibly imagine that. How terrible that was for those poor children. I also don't care how poor you are or how down on your luck you may be. Selling your children should not be an option that you turn to ever. These parents did just that and even though it may have helped them in the short run, I imagine that the guilt they felt afterwards 
I mean, that must have been brutal. Number two on this list is the Nuclear Shadows. This is about as dark as we can get, guys. Here we have a picture that looks just like a shadow with a stain on the floor. That's not just anything, though. Bygonely says, on August 6, 1945, the United States of America dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. And for some of the approximately 80,000 people who lost their lives, only a nuclear shadow remained. When the bomb detonated at 1,900 feet above the city center, the subsequent explosion caused temperatures of 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit to annihilate nearly everything within 1,600 feet of the bomb's blast zone. Almost anything and anyone within a mile was destroyed. The bomb's light and heat were so extreme that they bleached the city's exposed surfaces, except in places where an unsuspecting person shielded the building or sidewalk or bridge from the blast with their own body in their final moments alive. Those shadows, the ones that appear on the ground and on the buildings that were left standing, those are where those people were standing or sitting or just flat out existing when the bombs went off. In a second, they were gone. And literally the only evidence that they were ever even there at all was these shadows that remained. A horrifying indicator of what went down here and the overwhelming devastating power that comes from a weapon like this. Nukes have only ever been used on human beings twice and even that is far too many times. Number one on this list is John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy was born in 1942 and died in 1994 by lethal injection. Another name that you may know this man as is the Killer Clown. The image that we have here is of him while he was only a few years old holding what looks to be two guns. As a three-year-old, this picture doesn't come off as super threatening, but when you consider that he would go on to kill 33 people, it becomes a lot darker. John had some sick sexual passions and had interest in young He carried out his sick fantasies by luring people to his ranch using his personas as a fun clown for kids. He did this many times and ended up killing 33 separate individuals and a and countless more. This all happened primarily in the 70s and he was only arrested in 1978. I was reading up on what he did a lot for this video and sadly I can't really get into too much detail on here because YouTube wouldn't like that. Just know that he performed some horrible things, stuff that makes you cringe and makes you feel sick just reading about. That's ultimately what makes this photo of back when he was just a kid. So creepy. Well, there you have it, folks. That is our list of the top five terrifying photographs with a dark history. Please let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this list and some other creepy dark photographs that you guys know about. Also, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Nicholas Playlog, and I'll catch you next time.